So guys, something incredible is happening in the next few weeks and we are all prepared to be blown away with what Tezza is going to be showing off. Out of all the products that Tezza has worked on so far, it leads us to this very point where self-driving taxis are about to hit the market. On August the 8th, Elon will be unveiling RoboTaxi to the world, tying in all full self-driving efforts and bringing it to this one package, changing everything for the ride hailing service. It will include all the latest sensor suites and comfort features you can expect from an autonomous taxi service and all of this can be controlled remotely through their mobile Tesla app. There is a lot happening behind the scenes and even opens up the possibility for owners to add in their personal vehicles to the fleet all of this is going to be expanded on on August the 8th, so this is where most of us are prepared to hear the greatest news ever. Now, let's talk about the logistics of this autonomous ride hailing service and how Tesla is prepared to roll out this to the entire nation. During 2019's Autonomy Day, Tesla announced their plans to roll out the RoboTaxi, laying out the foundations and the fundamentals of how this service will run. Their goals were to enable owners to add their personal vehicles to the ride sharing app. This will be a very similar business model to Uber or Airbnb. Tesla will then take a 30% cut from each ride, all in all allowing it to run a very profitable business model. That was their ultimate goal when they originally set out this path in 2019. However, facing some roadblocks, they are set back four years behind. It took them some additional time to get the software where they are today. Added to that, they've also had to run through different type of hardware from hardware 3 to hardware 4 and the upcoming hardware 5 before they could finally get it in place to the point where the car can be fully autonomous. Now we've discussed a lot about this, about hardware 3, hardware 4 and the upcoming hardware 5. If you want to know more about this, I will drop a couple of the links down there as well as up there. There is so much to compare these so go check them out and you know where we are and where we stand today. So now with the software and hardware put aside we have to talk about how this entire thing is going to run. There is also the fact the main contributing factor about why this hasn't rolled out yet and it is the fact that they will have to be relying on owners adding their own personal vehicles into this fleet and that is just not going to work when it comes to remote locations places that people do not have electric vehicles especially Tesla's. So this is where Tesla had to go back to the drawing board, change things around, change their entire outlook. Now prioritizing the RoboTaxi service, their in integrated fleet, and this is where they are going to put so much work into the CyberCab. This will be a fleet full of Tesla vehicles, completely integrated, completely maintained by Tesla alone. They will not have to be relying on external sources such as vehicle owners, depending on what they want to do with their vehicles at certain times. All in all, they don't want to take the chance and be solely dependent on owners to see the success of this service, but at the very same time, there isn't a single car that is being built today that has the compatible hardware to run this service. With that being said, there comes a lot more complexity and logistics when maintaining their own fleet of vehicles versus relying on owners. They are now deciding to slowly move away from the Uber and Airbnb business model and running a purely integrated integrated taxi service that we have discussed a few years back. They have decided to slowly move away from the Uber and Airbnb business model and now fully running an integrated taxi service that we have discussed from a few years back. Although with Tesla's decision to fully prioritize the RoboTaxi and the Cyber Cab, they will still be allowing owners to add their own vehicles to the fleet to expand this service even more. This is ultimately going to be a service that expands throughout the entire nation covering every single inch for those areas that do have a lot of people driving Tesla's you will be able to make some additional money while Tesla takes a cut. And for those other areas that are isolated or do not have the population, there will be the CyberCab or the RoboTaxi service where you can simply just summon directly from your app. Now, as we spoke about the logistics and complexity, there is going to be the fact that there is a ton of maintenance while running this service. Things like cleaning the car is going to be a big factor of how the service is going to be run. So knowing Tesla by now, they have skipped no steps in terms of preparation. According to a recent patent, they have filed a new sanitation service system that will be able to clean the entire car within an enclosed area. 
According to the pen, this is not just going to be a generic pre-customized guideline with the cleaning process. It is going to be dynamic, it is going to be smart, and it is going to clean and extensively sanitize areas that it needs to. Some of the key features include environmental detection through various sensors. Depending on the situation, it will go through various sanitation methods including the utilization of the HVAC system, UV lighting, and steam generation. This entire process is going to be automated and it is going to execute as soon as passengers leave the car. The pen goes on to further disclose the vehicle sharing cycle according to these guidelines. It will be able to calculate the vehicle owner's personal use, it will be able to detect the environmental situation, it will be able to see friends or families within the car. And last but not least, it will be able to calculate how much sanitation is needed in a certain area and be able to go back to that area to ensure that it is completely clean before the next passenger hops in. This pen alone shows the extensive work that Tesla has put in and there is going to be an incredible revolution in the way Tezas and vehicles are going to be cleaned in general. Hopefully, this does eventually move on to our own personal vehicles in the future. This is something that a lot of people would pay a lot of money for. What is awesome about this is that it is all real, Tesla has made it possible and that it is going to instill a lot of confidence during this event, during the unveiling of the Tesla. A robo taxi. I am sure there is a lot more we don't know about this car that we will be learning on August the 8th. Tons of new details are going to be coming out. I will be keeping an eye out on every little thing that comes up in the next couple of weeks leading up to this date. So make sure you guys stick around, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so. And please follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. Over there, you guys can chat with me, DM with me, and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. But this should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.